Hello and welcome to episode 3 of Eternally Destined. Today I'd like to share with you something that, looking back over my life, has made probably the most significant impact in my journey. And it's, it's a statement, one or two sentences, that um, just, just inspired me, just changed the way that my perspective was about God, about Jesus Christ. And it goes like this. The Savior could not see through the portals of the tomb. Hope did not present to him his coming forth from the grave a conqueror, or tell him of the Father's acceptance of the sacrifice. He felt, or he, he feared, that sin was so offensive to God that their separation would be eternal. This is at the point, the background here is that Jesus is on the cross and darkness has come over and he is suffering. He's gone through the entire day, uh, no food and, and being beaten and whipped and carrying the cross and the whole physical aspect of it. And, and, and that, that whole physical aspect, it's, it's terrible, it's horrible, it would be a, a trial to endure. Yet that's not what killed him. What killed him was this broken heart. The concept that because the scripture says that sin, that Christ became sin for us, what killed him was his broken heart. That he thought that, that in taking on the sins of the entire world, for every single human being that ever lived, he felt that by taking that, his separation with the Father, who he has been with for the countless ceaseless ages of eternity past, they have been one, united, God the Father, God the Son, never a separation. He felt that because he was taking on this sin, our sin, my sin, that their separation would be eternal. And yet, knowing that he had the power to call down legions of angels to rescue him, to take him off of that cross. He didn't have to make that choice to die. And yet, knowing this, he still chose to die for me and you. The God of infinite power, never being separated from his Father, would rather have you and I in heaven with the Father for eternity, even if it meant that He would forever be cut off from God's presence. That's amazing. My name is Daniel Rowe, and I hope to encourage you along your journey because you are eternally destined.